This is going to be a video about getting some cheap welding done. Uh, I do have some welding experience, however, I don't have adequate equipment on hand right now for what's going on here. I'm not excited about this project, but a friend of mine wanted me to put this down and um, I'm going to do it, so I thought I would share it with you. This is a masonry drill bit. It's maybe a little over 12 inches. This has been split at this point and it's been beveled. What's going to happen is a friend wants this extended. So what we're doing is we get some focus and we beveled both edges here as well. So this is going to come down like that. This is going to get welded to here. The um, point of the video, I, you know, I do have some welding experience. I don't have the equipment right now. The, uh, you know, I'll talk to people about welding and they'll say, oh, this is so great. I, if I could weld, I could make all kinds of things out of metal. Well, at that point, you've needed to learn how to weld. You've needed to buy some equipment. You need to have a place to put that equipment. You need to have proper power to get to that equipment. Uh, most people are going to end up with you know, the Harbor Freight fake MIG welder that's got like a 2% duty cycle. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, this video is for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what's, what I'm going to be doing is these are, these are beveled for joints. So what's going to happen is just in this smaller example, metal is going to be deposited in the welding deposit, or in the welding process, in the V that's created with this bevel. And that's been here as well. I got some familiarity with joints that are appropriate for welding, and we're going to put this together. If you're not familiar with those joints, you can just have words with somebody who's doing the welding for you. I'm taking this guy into a uh, muffler shop and having them put it together. <clears throat> My deal with the welding shop is $5 minimum and $0.50 cents an inch. Um, just my general feeling is going to be, um, you know, 5 bucks, and then just round up to the next 5 So, you know, 5 bucks, 10 bucks, 15 whatever. This, my impression, this was a bit that somebody had laying, they had laying around and needed to extend it. So I figured rather than, than buy a new bit, just extend the one you got. Uh, and a bit that's this long, you know, seem, individuals seem to think is about 200 bucks. So this, you know, gets pulled out of the garbage bin and um, becomes a thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jig this thing up as we have words. <clears throat> and that's part of the deal that I've, I've had some things welded at this place before. And part of the... Uh, part of the experience is that if I can jig things up, that means to you know essentially align them in advance. All the guy has to do is just is just touch the welder on it, and I'm good to go. If these are already lined up, if he needs to figure out you know how to jig this thing up and get these lined up, that adds extra time. It's going to cost more money. I can do that. If that's something you're not comfortable with, you know talk to the person who's doing your welding, and maybe they can jig it up for you, make some suggestions about how you should grind this stuff previous to bringing it in. Um, jigging apparatus, whatever. So this is a V-block. This is a bar. This is a just a, you know a steel bar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to clamp another one to it. God, it's cheese. So I'm just going to speed up this whole section as it's a really pretty heavily focused on me building my funny little jig. The uh, specifics of my jig are going to be different than what you had going on and if you're not too familiar with setting things up for welding it's going to be better to for you to figure out who's going to be doing your welding and just talking with them and figuring out what appropriate setup is and then you can just put that together yourself or have them do it. It might cost you a little bit more, but you know that's how we're doing. Okay. So I'm going to take this down there and the the th way that I worked it is um, in the past is I put the jig together 
pretty much set everything up and then um, leave it there. And he, you know, and the guy can do it whenever he gets time to. Every time I've gone in there, he's done it immediately. I don't intend on that, um, but whatever. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this. We're gonna we're gonna put this thing together. We're gonna clamp this thing up, drag it down there, leave it for him. I'll go do some other errands, and then we'll see how this turned out. All right. So this is what I ended up with after getting it welded. The jig that I had showed you earlier, the guy, I don't want to say he freaked out on it, but um, he wanted me to be there to put the jig together. And uh, I think this came out okay. We'll see how this thing ends up. Once again, this whole video is more about uh, getting some cheap welding done rather than is this a good idea or not, because it's not. So we're going to show you closely what I got. These need to be ground down flat and then I'm pretty much good to let somebody else figure out if this thing is worth anything. So I've gone to this individual in the past and this is the base of something I've done. Um, if you look at this you can see that there's holes here. What I had done is I'd taken these pieces and largely cut them, drilled some holes, bolted them together so that they can be welded later. I lined everything up and then just tighten the bolts down and brought it in and just left it and you know he can get to it whenever he does. Um, you know it's at that point once, it, once it's done that you know these anything loose hanging out can be shaved down or or whatever. So that's worked out really well for me and I don't have to own my own welding equipment which is nice. Okay.